All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's your favorite animal scientist, Mr. Kester Amos, the CEO of Kester Amos Consultancy Services Limited. We are back in Benin and uh, back with this pig production project. As you can see, the structure is taking shape. The last time we were here, it wasn't looking like this. So at this moment, we are almost rounding up with the block work, though there are still some finishing touches for us to do. So we just want to take you inside and show you the design. Well, what we we're trying to explain the other day that you really didn't get because the construction was still ongoing. So this is the pathway. It's called the passage. You can easily move across down to the extreme end. And you have pens on your right and your left. So this is the first pen we have here. This is the entrance. We're going to have a high on door to it in order to block up the pigs inside. So this pen is designed for the breeders, probably the in pig, the in sow rather, uh, a, a pig that is pregnant and is ready for uh, farrowing is called in pig. So once the pig is pregnant and is about to farrow, which is give birth, we move them in here. Now this pen is designed this way in order to provide proper hygiene. This area where you have this first part is the feeding area. So we are going to have the feeders here. That's why I said we still have some finishing touches to do. So it's not a complete package yet. So we're going to have the feeder here. So the pig will come here to feed. And when she wants to drop her waste, which is the dung, she comes through this part. We call this area the run. This is where the animal comes and drops her dung. So she can drop the dung here. We're going to have a tunnel here that will take the waste out with this structure gently sloping backwards so if there's any water spillage it's going to flow down to this extreme part where the, the water collector or waste collector will be so that is how it's designed and we'll have our nipple drinkers here so we'll have two of them one on here one here and another one here and here now the reason why we have the two sets is because of the young piglets once she litters the young ones they will grow to the stage where they also need to take in water so they will drink from the lower nipples while the mother pig the sow drinks from the higher nipples in order for them to have a better posture in drinking so that's the way it's designed so this area called the run is where the pig drops are waste so the front part which is the feeding area or the living room is kept clean for proper hygiene because of the young animals so that's the way it's designed so of course the next time we'll be back here the feeder should be set the nipple drinker should be set these four walls should be properly plastered and everything should be set as you can see we are getting towards that part so the other area we're going to take you to now the whole of this pens you can look at this whole line like this we have 26 pens which are meant for breeding then on these other parts we have 26 pens which are meant for the winners so the winners are the young animals that have been taken out from the mother animal which is the sow after eight weeks we wean them off from the sow so we move them right here now this place can take as much as 15 to 20 pigs at the initial stage of weaning but as the animals begin to grow into the face of growers probably after three months of weaning we start to reduce the number of pigs to about 12 10 12 of them they can remain here and fatten until they go to the market or slaughter so this area is designed for the winners that is why we don't have any demarcations so we are going to have the feeder running through the next this uh, length, we're going to take almost this length to have the feeder, so they will all have access to feed from it. While the nipple drinkers will be installed here, we'll have five on top and five below because we'll have lots of pig uh, winners here, so each of them can drink at its own time. So that's the way it's going to be designed. So these pens with no demarcations are strictly for winners why the ones with demarcations are for the breeders so but the first thing is when the animals are brought in either we are bringing in gilts or sows the sows are pigs that have given birth at least once why the gilts are mature female pigs that are ready for mating but has not given birth at all so if we're bringing in gilts we'll have them here at least about 10 here and 
depending on the number we're bringing in. So that's where we can easily detect the eats. Because if you keep a single female animal, it's a little bit difficult for you to detect the eats because you have to really be uh, experienced for you to detect the eats. But when you have them together, you see signs of eats when the females try to mount on another female. It, you take a closer look at that one and try to check for the signs of heat, which of course are uh, protrusion of the vulva as well. The perineum becomes very reddish and you see her mounting another pig, uh, another female. And there's also what we call standing to the boa. Of course, you move close to the animal, hold her by her waist and she pulls this for you. That tells you the animal is actually on heat. Every other sign can be deceptive, but that is an accurate sign. Once you hold her by the waist and you see her not pulling out or another female mounting on her and she's not pulling out. She feels it's a male trying to mate her. So that is a correct sign of it. So we take her to the male. So here we are going to practice hand mating or artificial mating as it's called. We have two major types of mating, the natural and artificial mating. Natural mating, you have the male animals running together with the females. So you don't actually uh, know which has mated which. The mating is random. So the males run around them once they detect the animal on heat, they mate. But in hand mating, in order for you to keep good breeding records, you have to take the female to the male. So the boa, which is a male pig that will be on the farm for mating specifically, will have his own cell or pen. So you only take the female on heat down there, mate her and bring her back. So that way you can also detect the ostrich to know if the animal is actually pregnant or not when she doesn't come on it the next 21 days. So these are some of the practices we'll be teaching you on this series of pig production. So you just stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. So as much as you subscribe to our channel, when we bring these management practices, you get to know the details on pig production, the diseases that affect them, how to care for them. Pigs are really strong animals and are very easy to rear and breed. Some people don't know that pigs don't even consume too much feed because they look fat. People think they take in a lot of feed. No, but the pig is an animal that when they eat to the full of their appetite, they don't eat anymore. So there are a lot of things we're going to tell you about pig production. But for now, we're still working on the infrastructural phase. So we're just going to walk you down a little bit down to the uh, middle part of the building. It's a very long one, over 300 feet. So we'll just show you the pens left and right and uh, we'll call it a day. So you can see the design here. It's all open. All the pens here are all open. And meanwhile, the pens on these other side are demarcated. So you can see the ones here are demarcated. There's a passage for you to go in and come out where the animal tribes so these other ones are actually open so we have designed it this way based on the management practices this is an intensive pig farm uh, people tend to think pigs are very dirty animals that's because of the system of production pigs can be read in extensive system they can be read in uh, uh semi-intensive system and intensive system so pigs that are red under intensive system are actually very neat and clean animals so you're going to see all of this probably this will be sounding very strange to you you mean pigs can be that clean don't worry when we start production here you're going to see how pigs are raised intensively so this is just uh a preview of the uh, entire facility probably just give them this view so we can call it a day so remember the last time i said the building was stepped down so this part i'm standing in the highest of the structure so you can see last time i had to jump down this way but now i can walk down so it makes it easier for me to access the next level and that's the way it's designed down there as well so there's a lot we still have to show you as we continue with the construction we are going to keep updating you with more videos so you don't forget to subscribe and make sure you click on the bell icon so whenever we are uploading the next video you get a notification all right so we've said a lot today already of course the name remains mr amos kester Ediwe, your favorite animal scientist so um if you want to reach us the number to call is plus two three four eight zero six eight five two five zero three two that's the number to call and if you didn't get that 
go to the link below the video the number is spelled out so until we come your way again as always god bless you and bye bye